What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Let's Play series. So today I wanted to kind of look at dyes. Yeah, so we saw that we have all these shulker boxes and I have dyed a couple of them. I dyed one white and I dyed one black, but there's a lot of colors in between that we don't have available. Now I was kind of looking at the dyes that we have easily available. So like white dye we get from bones, from uh, bone meal, right? Just from our mob farm. So we always have white dye coming in. That's not a big problem. I went around and I collected the four two tall flowers uh, that you can just right click bone meal on. They duplicate themselves. So like the, ro the uh, rose bush will give you two red dye. The sunflower gives you two yellow dye. So we have those covered. And then one of these, I, yeah, this is pink. I have it set right here, pink. Uh, you get from the peony and then magenta you get that from the lilac all right so we got those those are fine green dye uh we did find some cactus in the desert but we haven't set up a cactus farm so we don't really have this renewable yet but it is renewable all we gotta do is set up a cactus farm and then smelt the uh the cactus into the cactus greens uh or i guess it's just called green dye now they did rename that according to the wiki and then brown i did find uh cocoa bean in the jungle this is our only one so we got to be careful with it. <laughs> but yeah, that's our only source of brown dye. But again, that's renewable. You just bone meal it and then you harvest it. And yeah, so you can redo it. But there's a whole bunch of other dyes that we don't have, like uh, blue dye, for instance, you can get from lapis. But if you're going to get that from lapis, then you got to go mine for it. And it just doesn't make a lot of sense. Uh, so there's other ways to get blue dye. You can get it from corn flour, which apparently comes from a flower forest. In fact, there's another one, the light blue dye uh, comes from a blue orchid, which you can get from a flower forest or by uh, taking blue dye, I guess, and mixing it with bone meal or the uh, the white dye. So that's something that I kind of want to look at. Black dye is not something that we can get. That is exclusive to, uh, well, actually, I guess you can get it from the uh, wither flower. But yeah, it's pretty much exclusive to squid. So we would have to set up a squid farm in order to get black dye. So that might be something we look at in the future. I'm pretty sure every other dye besides the blue and the light blue is just a combination of the ones that we already have, I think. Uh, but anyway, what I wanted to do, I wanted to take a look at the flower forest. Let's grab some of these bone blocks that we have. Those just turn right into bone meal, right? Uh, let's grab some of these. I wanted to head over to the flower forest and take a look at this because I'm not exactly sure how the flower forests work. Is it... Like, will you find one flower? Is that flower, like, always appearing on that block? Or is it just a random chance in any block when you bone mill the grass? Like, I don't really know how the, the flower forests work. But I do know that we have one just, like, right over here. Very close to our mob farm, just north of our base. All right, so I just kind of looking around, making sure this is all flower forest. And it appears everything here, I mean, there's lots of flowers around. But there is also some spots here that didn't have anything I was just kind of curious if this was all flower forest, and it does look like it. So the question that I have is if we're looking for a specific flower, does it always appear on the same block? Like, is this always going to be a pink tulip? Or can that turn into another flower? So if I remove that flower and we bone meal here, well, we got a bunch of tall grass. Uh, I want to know, like, are we always going to see that pink tulip appear there? Or can we get another flower to appear? Man, we're having... Okay, so there's a white flower, right? So that's not the same color flower so that's something that i was curious about now it did say that we can get uh the light blue flowers i guess that's what these are what are these called these are corn flowers yeah so or is that the regular blue that's a regular blue dye uh does corn flower always spawn there because we just saw that a tulip turned into another tulip i don't know if you only get tulips in this area <laughs> it's like, these are things that i don't know i would hate to try and set up a mo or a uh, flower farm just to find out that I'm in the wrong spot, you know, because we need to find if we can get blue dye, that's great. Uh, yeah, because we can always mix that with bone meal to get light blue, right? So it looks like we're getting tulips over here, even though there are none to start with. There's another tulip. All right. And that is cornflower. Is that what I just picked up? I think it was. 
Okay. Um, so yeah, I guess what I need to do is just sit here and spam bone meal all over the place and just kind of get an idea of the kind of flowers that we can get. And again, I don't know if it's all random or how this works. So I'm going to spend some time here going through the rest of the bone meal in my inventory. Just got to see what the flower situation is. And then we might look at setting up some kind of a small flower farm here. All right, for the limited amount of testing that I've done, we saw over here that we had the cornflower flowers that were here naturally. But when I go on bone meal, I get some oxide daisies and I get some pink tulips, but I'm not seeing any of these flowers respawning, which is kind of weird. It says on the wiki that they spawn here and that you can bone meal them as far as I can tell. Uh, when I bone meal over in this area, we just get orange, red, white tulips. Yep, that's all we get like every single time. And then if I come over here, we see that there's the alum flowers. And if I bone meal here, I can get the, uh, was it the bluets and the, the alum flowers do appear over here as well when I bone meal. Uh, but I can't figure out how to get the corn flowers. Those are the ones that I want, the blue dye. Hmm, I think I just gotta keep going around and trying different locations. Now, as we saw, the cornflowers spawn there, but when we bone meal, we don't get those. So I wonder if there's like locations here where all these pink uh, tulips are, if we bone meal, if we get the cornflowers or something like that. So yeah, it's gonna require a little bit more testing and me kind of like testing different areas and see what we can come up with for the different color flowers. Okay, so it does look like certain flowers only spawn in certain parts of the flower forest, and only in those parts can you find those flowers. So I came to another flower forest, or over here, this would be southeast of the base, uh, southeast on our center map, and yeah, I found a whole lot more of the corn flower blue flowers. Uh, I just tested putting down some bone meal, and I saw a new one spawn here, so we definitely can farm these flowers right here. Yeah, see that. So I wonder how far out that extends and if we are still going to be running into these oxide daisies and these other things or if we can get a lot more area. Also, I wonder if we stack, like if we put grassy blocks up two blocks higher and we bone meal those, if we still get the uh, corn flower flowers as well. That's something else that I'm kind of wondering about. But anyway, the important thing is we are able to farm these flowers by using bone meal and that'll get us our blue dye so we don't have to use lapis. And again, we can combine that blue dye with bone meal, or I guess white dye, uh, in order to get light blue dye. Yeah, so that takes care of all the blue, as long as we can farm this stuff. Now, is this the best area for farming these? I don't know, there might be like a bigger patch of corn flour. Uh, looks like there is some more over here. Oh, this actually, oh, this looks like this might be real good over here. We hit the jackpot. Yeah, so this is probably a really good spot a uh, little bit bigger than what we were just doing. Yeah, that's all cornflower blue. Oh my goodness. Okay, so really what we'd want to do is kind of like block up the edges around here and make it so we can place down a water bucket in the center where it would harvest all the flowers for us. And then we bone meal again and then, you know, do this over and over again, obviously. I think that's what we're going to want to do or some kind of way to flush farm the uh, flowers and then collect them. Okay, so this is a much better spot right here. Obviously, there's a whole lot of area that'll get us those cornflower flowers. Uh, every other color that you can get in the flower forest, I don't think is really that necessary for us. Uh, I think I did see that you can get the blue orchid here. I know those also spawn in the um, swamp biomes, but I'm not really sure that's necessary. Like I said, since we can make the light blue dye, as long as we get the blue dye, okay. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and get some things set up over here, see if we can set up some kind of a uh, test farm, and we'll be right back, guys. All right, guys, so I brought some blocks back here to our flower farm, and I did some testing just to kind of make sure that we're only getting blue flowers here, and as far as I can tell, with the bone meal that I placed here, the only thing that we were getting are these blue flowers. I was going through and getting rid of the, uh, the grass here that grows from the bone meal, but yeah, the only flower that I saw in this nine by nine area is just these uh, cornflower blue flowers. So I think that's gonna be really good for us. Now, one thing I did wanna test, uh, we need to put a banner down here so I know where our flower farm is on the map, right? Um, so I, we saw before the ominous banner there in the lower left-hand corner of the map uh, is in a different color. Now, I don't know if that's because something special with that banner or because that's an orange banner. So I wanted to test something. So I made a blue banner 
since we are farming blue flowers here called Flower Farm, I wanted to place that down and see what color that shows up on the map. I guess we'll just put it over here or something. It doesn't have to be anywhere special. Just somewhere in the general area so we know. Now, if I right-click the map on there, it's... Okay, so the actual... The text isn't blue, but the marker is blue. That's kind of interesting. Okay, so I wonder what changes the text color. Hmm. That's something I'll have to learn. If you guys know, let me know in the comments down below because I am kind of interested. Uh, yeah, I, I was thinking that the color of the banner would change the uh, text color, but I guess that changes the act the uh, the pin on the map. Hmm. Anyway, uh, so now that we know where the uh, flower farm is, uh, we can start working on this thing. So pretty much what we want to do, we want to set up some redstone here. So when we press a button, we shoot bone meal onto the grass, which should grow flowers and grow the tall grass. At the same time that we shoot the bone meal up, we want to release water from some dispensers, which will uh, flood the area and wash away the flowers and the um, yeah, and the tall grass. So pretty much what we're going to do in the corners here, we're going to get rid of the grass and we'll place some dispensers facing upwards. So we are going to lose out on just a few spots of... Uh, I guess bone mealable grass area, but I think we'll be fine overall. I don't really think this is going to have much impact. Uh, so the way this is set up, if we put water in the center here, like if this dispenser shoots it, uh, it's going to flow water up until the center point. Yeah, so this never gets water. Uh, if we have water flowing here, it'll do the same thing, but it'll never touch this block. And yeah, same for all of these. So that is what we're going to do. We're going to put water into those dispensers in all four corners, which should flush the entire farm and push everything that it harvests uh, into this hole. Now, in that hole right there, we're not just going to drop things down. Uh, oh, you know what? I did not bring any uh, hoppers. I need to go make some hoppers. All right, so we got ourselves a hopper installed right there, <laughs> and I made a few extra hoppers so we can chain that all the way over here. And that's going into a dropper, which is going into another dropper, which goes up into a chest, very similar to the way that we collected items and placed items uh, for our sheep farm. Now, I'm just looking at these hoppers right here. I don't actually understand why these are facing down since I placed this one and then I went all the way back, placing them up against each other. How did those face down? Don't those face the way that you're placing the block? Did they change the way hopper placement works? I'm actually not sure how that works now. Uh, where did that hopper go? Okay, it's over here. And this guy goes right there. Yeah, is there a way, like, if you're placing these hoppers facing this way, that they could point down like that? How did that even happen? I don't know. Anyway, uh, so, yeah, the items will get collected in that top hopper, which will go into this one, which will... Put them all the way over here into our dropper and then we'll worry about moving the items up out of the dropper that's not a big deal uh but yeah we have this all laid out here so we can put in some redstone torches uh so i believe i can place a redstone torch right like that yeah so that just sent the water out and if we do this that turns off the redstone torch if we do that again that should uh, retract the water oops yeah no maybe is it, the water is not flowing anymore right yeah, okay, so the water's off. Uh, so anyway, we're going to go ahead and do that. I guess you got to do that twice to uh, turn the water off on the bottom one. That's fine. We can do that. So this, this, that, and that. I believe that should do what we want to do. That turns it off. That. Okay, I think we should be good. All right, so these are off by default. When we send a redstone signal, we want to pulse this torch. We'll it'll turn this torch on and then send the dispensers. Uh, so I laid out where I'm gonna place our redstone dust. Now we're doing this in kind of a weird way. Uh, so this is gonna be our main input block. We have redstone dust coming from this block, which is gonna get a high redstone signal and push the redstone signal into this dust. It's gonna go this way, and it's gonna go this way, which is gonna do a weird thing, and it reaches all the way over here without a use of a repeater. And then, in order to uh, send power into this block to turn off this torch, I'm just kind of wrapping it around like that. There might be a, a better way of doing that, but honestly, this works just fine. Uh, so anyway, when I put a button over here, let's make one, that should turn the water on all at the same time and turn it all off at the same time. Okay, so if we go up there and look, all the water should be flowing. 
Yep, all the water is flowing, and then if we press it again, all the water should be turned off. And all the water is off. Perfect. So the next bit of this we need to do is uh, place some dispensers that are going to turn, or I guess bone meal, where we want to have bone meal. So this is our center block. We're going to come out uh, two diagonally. So this block is the block that we want the dispenser to be facing up on. We need to place another block here, and then I need to go up there and rotate that dispenser so it's facing upwards. Do that, and I think if I... Does that work? No, that doesn't work. I might have to do this in another way, maybe facing down or something. Uh, maybe from the diagonal it'll work. Let's try. What's going on here? No, that doesn't really work. Hmm. All right, well, I will just break some of this grass and we will just do it this way then. Oop, that's not the block. That's the block. All right, so that's the way we want that facing. We're just going to have to wait for the grass to grow back on top of that. All right, so we're going to be doing something very similar to get the redstone signal up there. So we'll just be doing block, 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 block. So that'll be a redstone torch, and that'll be a redstone torch right here as well. And we just do that and that. Cool. All right, so we just need to hook up four of those so we can do it in all four corners here. All right, so all four dispensers are in place, and I got the redstone hooked up. It's very similar to the way that we did the droppers, or I guess the dispensers around the outside. So if we come down here, we steal this button, and we place the button on this one, and we click it. Okay, those all dispense at the same time. And now we got grass and flowers everywhere, which is fantastic. That's what we're looking for. Okay, so this button works, so we know both of the redstone is correct for these different operations. So I'm going to take a redstone repeater here, and I'm just going to connect the two. So when this receives a redstone signal that the dispensers are going to dispense, this repeater is going to grab the redstone signal and send it everywhere here, which is going to bone meal all at the same time. So we should be pretty well good to go. Uh, so let's go ahead and do this. We'll flush it first. Okay. So you can hear all the water's going. Oh, it sounded like everything got destroyed up here. Yeah, everything's good. So if we click it again, if we look in here, you can see the bone meal is completely full. Actually, no, we are missing one bone meal. Okay, so yeah, uh, the bone meal is completely full except for one. We press this again. That should click all the dispensers as well, but it doesn't use any bone meal here. Yeah, we still are only missing one bone meal. Uh, so the water's off. If we click this again, it should... Uh, yeah, it should at that point dispense, put up some flowers, put up some tall grass, and then wash them all away. So you should be able to hear that anyway. Yeah, so that seems to be working just fine. Now, all the items that just got collected should be down here. So we do have some corn flowers that we have collected from those two attempts, and then some wheat seeds, which is pretty awesome. So after a little bit of fiddling around, I cleaned up the redstone quite a bit. So our new entry point for the main signal is right here. And this splits off both sides to go up to the water, right? The redstone signal comes along and activates the uh, dispensers to bone meal, right? The redstone continues down this way, does the other bone meal and the other dispensers for the water. And it does all that without any repeaters or any weirdness. In fact, I think this is uh, a lot more simplified. <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, uh, that's the, the whole redstone circuit for both the dispensers uh, for the water and the bone meal. Uh, so I'm putting a r repeater here because we need to extend the signal. And then I'm running redstone uh, all the way up here underneath this block, which has our button on it now. So we can come up here and see this thing work from the top side. This is how we want to activate it in the future. So anyway, I press the button, you can see it bone meals, washes all the flowers away. We do it again, it turns it off. Then we can do this again and continue to put more stuff in there and turn it off. So yeah, I also got the uh, collection system going here as well. And I am doing this in a different way than I did before at the sheep farm. What we're doing here is we have an observer facing this way and we have an observer facing this way so they're observing each other essentially and then this one is attached to a sticky piston so when an item goes into this dropper the redstone gets turned on 
on this comparator, which sends a redstone signal over and activates this piston, which pushes this observer up. So this one notices that the block state changes, and then this one notices that that block state changes, and basically they just pulse back and forth. Uh, it's a little bit simpler than what we had before. So it's, yeah, it's the piston uh, that turns this on and off. And yeah, it does the same exact thing. So we put a redstone signal into this dropper, which uh, activates both this one and this one, sending the items up into our chest up here. And it seems like every time I start recording, it turns nighttime, dang it. So two things would make this farm better. Um, I think the functionality works really well. Pressing the button does exactly what we want it to do. And then the water comes out and everything gets collected like we want. Uh, the only thing that would make this better is putting this button on like an RS Norlatch. So if I press the button, it turns the system on. And then when I press the button again, it turns the system off. And when the system's on, it has a timer that automatically bone meals and turns the water on and then uh, turns the water off and does that over and over again. So that's something we might add to this in the future. I'm not exactly sure, but... Uh, we definitely have a way to collect the corn flowers very, very easily now, and that was the important thing here. Uh, so I did add, end up adding in half blocks on top of the uh, ring around here. I did notice we were getting corn flowers on top of the single high block, and it doesn't look like we've been getting anything jumping over the edge with the block and a half. So I think we're pretty good on that. Uh, so I'm just going to spend the next few moments here kind of buttoning everything up, Tidying this all up, uh, yeah, we don't want a hole down there, uh, especially with water nearby. I keep pushing the water back. I'm hoping nothing bad ever happens, like a creeper explodes and sends water down here and washes away all the redstone. That would be really, really terrible. Um, but, yeah, I did my best, like, placing redstone on top of, like, blocks or whatever. So if something does happen, I kind of know where everything goes, so I should be okay. But, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get this all tidied up. I'll take a look at the finished result, and we'll be right back, guys. So all in all, I think this farm turned out pretty well. It's not like super fantastic and it does its job. Yep, that's pretty much all that we can ask uh, for it. Uh, like I said, we could add in the RS Nord Latch so when I push the button, it turns the farm on and it starts a timer that constantly turns the water on and off, or I guess sends the redstone pulse to grow the grass and flowers and turns the water on and off. That's definitely something that we can do in the future. But for right now, I think that is going to get us where we need to be so we can now have blue dye, which is pretty fantastic. All right, guys. So now that we have the ability to do blue dye, we have now completed blue dye, light blue dye with bone meal, and now purple dye, since we already have red dye available from these rose bushes. So red and blue makes purple. That's pretty cool. Also, we are halfway to cyan dye. We need to get uh, our cactus farm going. Uh, with cactus growing, we can make green dye, we can make lime dye, and we can do the cyan uh, mixed with the blue, so that's pretty cool. So that pretty much takes care of every color except for ink. Uh, we would need a squid farm for that, and then with the ink sacks, we can do black, gray, and light gray, and that should be all the different colors that we could possibly want, or I guess that we could possibly make in Minecraft. So that's pretty cool. I'd say we have a good a good handle on all the colors. So yeah, making different color wool, different types of sheep, uh, dyeing the cement, the terracotta, like that kind of stuff. Yeah, that's gonna be really, really cool. Um, but yeah, I think we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up here for today. Uh, getting a flower farm set up is pretty awesome. First time I've ever set one of those up, it was, I wasn't quite sure how it was going to go when I first started the episode. I didn't know if it was going to be like, we get all sorts of random different flowers and we're going to have to sort them or yeah, I, I didn't realize it would be able to specifically target only blue and only get blue flowers, which is really awesome. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on this episode if you liked it and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching guys. Bye-bye.